Oh, that's the biggest one of the freaking pool. That's the biggest one of the pool. Oh, no. 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 That, that. Come on. Oh, no. He's. Oh, is he still on? I can feel him. Oh, yes. Oh, I thought he was gone. I thought he was gone. I thought he was gone. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a much bigger fish. Ah! Yes. 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 Ain't no way. Oh my God. Oh, let's go. That was awesome. All right, good to go. As anglers, I think we can all agree that time and experience are incredibly important to find growth on the water. A bit longer in the tooth and much longer in the hair shows that it's been a while since I've been back to this spot. After looking at maps and gambling on some potential gradient drops, I wanted to give this section of the felt dam the dedication of a full day. For a few miles, I straddled the line between private agriculture and public BLM land, but once I found my mark, however, I inhaled one last deep breath of this beautiful Teton morning and began yet another deep dive into this crag. Well, here we are again on a canyon scramble. And I gotta admit, I think I like going up more than I like going down. I feel like I've got just a little bit more control, at least in the way of gravity going up. So we're gonna see how many times I fall. Yikes. <laughs> Definitely don't like that. Worst might be over. Worst case, I mean, the river's right there. Whew. I want to get to that over there. So I can probably keep riding this top of line for as far as she'll take me. Looks like the deer take this too. Whew. All right. Made it to somewhat solid ground here. Time to get some moving water. Oh wow. That's a great way to start the morning right there. That's perfect.
I really didn't think you guys were actually in here. You can maybe hear the excitement in my voice, but this right here is the first time I've ever caught a brook trout in this system. And as far as I know, these little char are quite rare throughout the main stem of the watershed, especially. Now, I can't say I'm overly enthused to be putting him back, seeing as he's not a native, but at the same time, I had no good way of harvesting the meat. So, off he went, and I gotta say, this was already sizing up to be quite the morning. As the canyon springs dribbled into the rich riparian fortress, I hit the first bit of proper rapids that the satellite maps had so generously teased. It was maybe about halfway up this run when something really heavy absolutely slammed down on my nymph. He's giving me business. He's giving me big business. It might be time to put you on the reel, sir. God, he's just in this pocket right now. Get out of there. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right, you can go if you want. I won't make you stay. I'd like you to stay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah, that's a great looking fish. No, 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 this is bad. Come on, piggy. Come on. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, you're so close. Oh, you're so close. Yes. Woo. That's a gray rainbow. <laughs> Yes! That reminds me of some fish I found in the uh, beautiful Rio Grande. That's awesome. This fish right here, this is a canyon piggy. This is what we're after, which is really, really nice. That's a beauty fish. There ain't nothing wrong with that. That's a beauty, beauty rainbow. Wild and spunky. Oh, there he goes. You know, I was studying my maps of this spot here and uh, looking for places with a lot of movement. And this kind of trough-like, fast-moving water, this is very fishy. Especially late season like this, it's, uh, well, early August and the water is getting warm. These fish, you know, they're seeking refuge in a place like this has fast, cold water, lots of food, lots of bugs. And yeah, I caught that little guy on just a, you know, kind of a modified Copper John really deep. I mean, we're talking like eight feet under my adjustable dry dropper. And you know, this rig is just one of my favorites. I've talked about it a bunch, used it a bunch. And it's for situations like this because they could get going, start eating something off the top. It is hopper season after all. But for the most part, I know they're going to be eating the bottom. So yeah, tied on the Copper John, adjusted accordingly. And yeah, that fish put me, he put me on my wheels. That was awesome. And it's funny with these kind of fish, like your, your migratory fish get long, like your steelhead or your, your fluvial bull trout, they get so long, but like resident canyon fish kind of like this, they're not moving too much, I would say. They get chunky. And it really reminds me of fish like uh, back in the Rio Grande, uh, like the Rio Grande Gorge, not too dissimilar from this. Uh, but yeah, the fish, they just get footballs, man. It's, it's so cool. It's so cool. Well, I mean, that kind of made my day right there. That was that was everything and more. So, yeah, maybe he's got some friends. I don't know. <laughs> Let's keep going, though. Uh, well, looks like that sun's finally hitting the other side there. About dang time. Fishy. I felt awfully fishy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
god, oh god, oh god. Oh my gosh! Yes, yes, yes! Yeah. That is a Canyon Cuddy right there. <laughs> Well, he just kicked back strong, and that's another really nice fish. Just again, out of this one run here, I figured there'd be a couple, but that is so fun, man. This is this is why you come here. This is why you come to these places, man. Wild rivers have wild fish, and god dang, that's so fun. But yeah, I'm gonna get all straightened up here and go up to this next one. It looks just as good, if not better. Summer was still screaming above the rim, but deep down below, the chill of wet waiting was quickly bleeding out my core temperature. The occasional snack and a hurried pace are about all I can manage to slow the creeping cold. But luckily for me, the fishing seemed to be heating up. Spending a considerable time in both New Mexico and Arizona, I've got a fair amount of experience fishing places like this. And something I always find so funny, dare I say random, is the fish distribution. but a few prime pools prior, I couldn't muster up so much as a sniff. These runs didn't look too dissimilar from other fishy spots I've pulled some cane dwellers out of, but seemingly out of nowhere, at this next run, I found a minefield of fish. Was it a current thing? Could it be the depth? Maybe it had to do with the proximity to winter holding water. You know, I'm not really sure. All I know is that there was a truckload of unpressured footballs in this precarious spot. I gotta be honest, I barely could stand here. I had to jam one boot in between two boulders to create some sort of stable base while I got barely balanced out with the other one. It was a real tightrope. But even if the balancing was kind of tough, this flurry of action right here kind of solidifies my stance on why the Teton can rival any of the rivers in the area. It may take some, well, light hiking, but hauling in each healthy trout was starting to get downright hilarious. I mean, it was almost a fish every single cast. Well, there's no way if that's a big fish. There's no way I'm getting that out of there. No way, Jose. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Get over here. Get over here. Don't, 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 don't. Freaking fish! No, fucking no way is this happening right now. <laughs> Yo, that's what you're coming for right there. That is good stuff. I love it. All right. I see ya. So that last stonefly got blown up. So I put on, I would call a prototype, a, you know, a bug that I haven't used a whole bunch. And it is absolutely crushing right now. It's getting bent out of shape too because these fish are so strong in the current too. I'm trying to really force them over. Oh, that's the biggest one of the freaking pool. That's the biggest one of the pool. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, that's that. Come on, oh no. He's, oh is he still on? I can feel him. <laughs> oh yes! Oh I thought he was gone, I thought he was gone, I thought he was gone. Oh that's a big fish, that's a much bigger fish. Oh my, 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 my goodness. As the rain's coming in, Whew. we just got ourselves the biggest rainbow of the day. Let's go. Yeah. Yep. Adios, senor. Woo! Oh, oh, let's go. That was awesome. Woo! What?
What a, what a day. I thought there'd be a fish in here. Oh my, and it's the biggest fish of the whole show. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me right now. I am so screwed, he's gonna get off. So I've got no drag on this thing either. Oh my gosh, I'm so fucked. We land this fish, there ain't no, there ain't no way we're landing this fish. One rod in one hand. I'm such an idiot, I should have put my camera down. Get off now, I'm gonna be so sad. Get off now, I'm gonna be so sad. Yo, no way! What the hell? Ha! Woo-hoo! Nuh-uh. There ain't no damn way. <laughs> this, I love canyons. I love canyons. Woo! I had absolutely no business landing this fish. I cannot believe we got him in. That was insane. I mean, that's what you want right there, baby. That is a phenomenal fish. You cannot be that. Holy cow. This is an even better hole. Going through that thicket was not any fun. I'd give that a zero out of 10. Wouldn't do again. Ooh, those are boot prints. Huh. Somebody else has been down here in the not so recent past. How about that? Wonder when. Yeah, that's the light hiking I'm talking about. I figured after bushwhacking for the better part of 20 minutes just to make it 20 yards, the fish gods would have rewarded me with continued greatness. But pushing further up and around the bend, it was pretty clear to see that this section was changing yet again. Granted, this is exactly what I was looking for when studying my maps, but I'm just not sure if the fish were gonna follow. Don't get me wrong, I was still finding a few here and there, just not to the same quantity and quality of what I'd left downstream. <sighs> Push that one a little bit too close. Oh. <laughs> Let me lose it. You acro batic tail slapping son of a gun. Now that's good stuff. Now that's good clean fun right there. Oh, I could do this forever. I love canyon fish. There we go, that's another silver spunky bullet right there. I love, love, love canyon rainbows. See ya, adios. They're just so spunky, man, it's so good. Hello, sweet bird. Sweet baby. What do I mean? I'm just fucking passing through. Did 
that's a little hybrid. That's a cut bow for sure. You can see. You can see he's a cut cut bow. Easy, 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 easy. That's the beauty of a canyon watershed. Right as you think you've got it all figured out, here comes yet another curveball. The wide river with deep holes had turned into a swift pocket water paradise right before my eyes. Getting to potential holding water was becoming increasingly more difficult as the narrow chutes and swift water tried to sweep me back downstream to where I'd come from. In a situation like this, you might actually get me to admit a pack raft would kind of be worth the wait. Again, there were plenty of fish in this direction, I don't want to come off as complaining, and I managed to find a few more to finish out the day. This sort of water was clearly dominated by pure rainbows and hybrids alike and I've always read that rainbows tend to be more fond of this faster moving water and this is kind of case in point. The rushing pockets that now take up most of this section seem to be just about perfect for them. I could blame many things for poor hook sets because I should have landed quite a few more fish than I did but at the end of the day I can really only point the blame towards myself. I just messed up. Regardless it'd be interesting to come back to this spot with a more dedicated deep set nymph rig and a heavy punching streamer rig. Just something with more weight and a bit more girth. Just with the size and a aggressive nature of some of these fish, I guarantee there were some real monsters lurking amongst the turbid boulders. But that would have to wait yet again. Well, off in the distance I can see more rain. I can't tell which direction it's coming, but the thunder sounds louder, so I would assume it's coming in this direction. Uh, this is going to be my last spot. We've had a phenomenal day, so I can't even begin to complain. No, actually, well, I wouldn't even begin to complain because, uh, yeah, this has been so much fun. but. Gonna look for one more fish, one last fish here on the Teton, at least uh, for this trip. Adios. Like I'm close to breaking out of the tree line. It's just not quite there yet. Jeez Louise. Well folks, here we are. If you have made it to this point in the video, well that means it's all over. And all I have to say, like always, is thank you very much. I know it can be kind of a grind, these videos are long, but hopefully you maybe learn something about the fish or learn about the places that they like to swim. Most of all, I just really hope you like the story. I know the YouTube algorithm likes when you watch a video all the way through, when you like it, comment, share, and subscribe, all that stuff. I'm not really in it for that. If you guys enjoy the channel, and if you're new, definitely decide to stick around. I'd love to have you for the next adventure. But uh, before we wrap this whole puppy up, I gotta thank a couple folks. As always, the Patreon members, you know, these things aren't free. It takes a lot in, in terms of resources and time and effort to make this whole thing go. So you folks supporting us, it really does mean the world. And going off of that, any of the file season partners, it it's amazing that you guys are willing to stick your neck out for me and uh, the other members and, and yeah give us the tools we need to go out and film these kind of expeditions it's really it's really sweet um, but yeah folks wherever you find yourself be it in the Wyoming backcountry looking for all four species of cutthroat or in your backyard I sure hope you keep those feet in the water and until next time tight lines Whew.